I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Hi everyone, this is Emmy today. I'm going to show you how to crochet this little panda applique. So let's get started. I'm working with worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join in the first stitch and that will form a ring. Carry the yarn end along the outside of the ring. To chain two, one, two, and that will count as the first double crochet. Make 11 double crochet in the ring. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert it into the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Make 11 double crochet in the ring. Okay, I made 11 double crochet in the ring. Now I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of that chain two. And there's the yarn end. It got encased inside that first row of stitches. Now I can pull that yarn end and close up that center hole. Chain two, one, two. Make one double crochet in that same stitch. And that will count as two double crochet in the same stitch. Make two double crochet in every stitch all the way around. One, and two. one and two one and two we'll work all the way around making two double crochet in each stitch okay I worked all the way around at the end of the row slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and fasten off. Now I'm going to make the first ear. I'm going to insert my hook in the stitch right after that fastened off and pull the black yarn through and chain one. In the next stitch make three double crochet. One, two and three single crochet in the next stitch and that will be the first ear so I'm going to fasten off and tie those two yarn ends together on the back skip one two three four five stitches and insert in the next stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Pull the yarn through, chain one. Make three double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, and three. Single crochet in the next stitch and fasten off. Turn it around, tie the two yarn ends together on the back like that. Now I'm going to make the snout. Start with a slip knot, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Carry the yarn end along the outside of the ring. Chain one. Make eight single crochet in the ring. To make a single crochet, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, then pick up the yarn and pull it through both loops. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Now you can pull that yarn end and close up the hole. Slip stitch to join in the first single crochet and fasten off. And tie the two yarn ends together on the back. And I'm going to trim them off. If one of those yarn ends was long enough to sew this on, you could have left it on. So now I'm going to make the two eyes. Start with a slip knot. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join. Carry the yarn end along the outside of the ring. Chain one. Make six single crochet in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Like that. Pull the yarn end to close the hole. Fasten off. Add the yarn ends together on the back like that and that is going to fit here so I'm going to make one more and those will both fit on the side of the snout I've threaded black yarn into a needle and I'm going to pass the needle through any stitch and I tied a knot on there and then I'll tie the two yarn ends together at the end so I'm going to come out in the center here just below so that I'm catching a stitch and I'm going to use four stitches to make the nose so I'm going to come in through this stitch and then into the center and then one two three four come in here and into the center And then I'm just going to fill in. So I'll do one more over here. And one more over here. And then just fill in. Like that. And then I'm just going to take some stitches across the top. and tie the two yarn ends together on the back and trim off the ends and if there's a little spot showing you can just move these around a little bit like that I threaded some white yarn into a needle and I'm going to start on the inside and pull that yarn through and then I'm going to position the little snout here at the bottom and I'm going to sew that all the way around like that and then on the back just take another stitch or two and trim off that yarn to sew on the eye I'm going to thread my longest yarn end into a needle Trim off that extra yarn, tuck that inside, and position it directly below the ear. And then I'm going to sew that on. And I'm going to go off camera and sew the other eye on below this ear. For the eyes, I have two small black shank buttons, and I have some black thread in a needle. And I'm going to sew these buttons on right in the center here. Come over to the other side. And sew this one on as well. Like that. And I tied all the yarn ends together on the back. And that's how easy it is 
to crochet a little panda applique. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.